Well, joining me now is the Minister of National Defense, Harjit Sajjan. Uh, Minister Sajjan, uh, thanks for taking time to speak with me today. Appreciate it. Let me start by asking you why, why you think we need another study to figure out how to set up an independent reporting system for members of the military who want to report allegations of sexual misconduct. First of all, I just want to say if, and the reason this is uh, we need to do this is we, we need to make sure that we rebuild the confidence for our survivors who have come forward. Uh, clearly, um, uh, we need to rebuild the confidence uh, with them to making sure that we have a proper structure in place. And what this external review is, it's much broader than the work that was done in, in the past. It's about setting up a structure, uh, the exact mechanisms that are going to be needed to making sure that on, not only the survivors can be heard and, uh, and listened to, but also actions can be taken to hold perpetrators right. I mean, to I mean, account. That's I mean, independent, that's independent right. of the chain of command and also the national defense. But you, you talked about the work that's been done in the past. It, it, was, it was extensive work from, uh, you know, the federal government already has a landmark report from another Supreme Court Justice, Marie Deschamps, 2015, and she recommended at the time the creation of an independent body outside of the military to deal with complaints of misconduct. Instead, your government okayed the establishment of, a, uh, of Operation Honor and a civilian-run reporting center inside the chain of command. Uh, that's largely been ridiculed from inside and outside of the ranks of the military. And in the past five years, since Operation Honor has been in place, there have been more than 581 reports of sexual assault. So I guess, why are you not announcing today this new independent outside reporting body instead of another study? Well, first of all, it is important to get this right. Um, the, the work that was done by Madame Deschamps was extremely important to get the work uh, started. What we're doing right now is to go even broader, to making sure that uh, Madame Arbour can actually dig deep, go broad as possible, to making sure that we actually create the structure in place that's going to create and provide that confidence independent of the chain of command and national defense and look at what that body was going to look like. What we had and put what was in place after Madame Deschamps clearly has not worked. And this is one of the reasons why we need to change that. Okay. Um, you know, let me ask you, I mean, I, I guess you've, you, you said today that you've learned the system you have in place now. You just said it, it didn't work. And, but she already found it didn't work, Madame Deschamps, her report in 2015. That was the time to make the change to an independent body. That's what she said. So you're admitting today that not implementing that key recommendation that she made to government at the time was a mistake and a failure. Is that correct? So the, the work that was done to create the independence when it came to SMRC, um, that work was being done to make it more independent. What I'm saying there is that work did not go far enough. And what we're doing right now is actually creating an external body. Plus, also, we've got to make sure is, this is not just about reporting we're looking at. We're looking at what structures are going to be needed. For example, what type of legal support will a survivor need coming forward? How does the NS NIS or the military police connect into the system? There could be legal changes th that we might need to, need to make, regulation changes. But the important part of this is making sure that we have a system in place that actually works by listening to our survivors. And clearly, from the last few months, we have not got, uh, gotten this right, and we do need but, to do but better. Why, but, Minister, why isn't that system in place today? I, would, I wish I wish uh, that we could have gotten this right, but clearly th this has not worked. Okay, and so if you had your druthers now looking back, the right way to go would have been an independent reporting system. And at the time, you chose not to go that route, and that's what I'm asking. That, you're, you're saying now that, no, was, not, that was a mistake. No, for, well, we, the, the, the route that was taken clearly was not the right one based on now what we have absolutely learned and the survivors that have come forward and who have shared their stories. This is why we need to take a much more broader and bold approach. And one of the things here we're also looking at, not just uh, when survivors come forward, we're looking at the prevention piece. We're looking at how uh, leaders are selected, how the promotion system uh, is also done, plus giving greater latitude for Madame Abor to go further. We're also putting mechanisms in place immediately with uh, uh, with the organization that uh, Lieutenant General right. Carrion will also be leading. But, but, but again, all of this is happening in the context of, of five years now where things haven't got better, they've gotten worse in the military. And that's been an acknowledgement that, that the culture hasn't changed. Uh, and I mean, people are listening to this today, I'm sure within the military and saying, all right, we, we, here we have another study when we had this opportunity five years ago to say this, you know, independent reporting outside the chain, this is how we're going to do it. But your government chose not to do it. No, we we took the, we are taking this very strong action. In fact, when we came in as a government, 
one of the first things that we did after the defense policy review, we put our people as number one into as, as chapter number one. Within that, uh, impl- started implementing Madame Deschamps' uh, recommendations into the defense policy itself. Itself, when it comes to GBA, GBA plus analysis, uh, that needs to be done. A lot of the work has been uh, ongoing. Good work has been done in some cases, but also obviously. This is not enough. And one of the things is we need to be even far bolder. And that's what this review is about, is to making sure that we get it right for the survivors. Okay. And let, let, actions let, will be bold. And, uh, and, and sorry, go on. But, so, well, I, I, but that's an acknowledgement, I'm assuming here, that they could have been bolder five years ago. You should have been bolder. The, the, bolder the boldness you're talking about now would have been handy to have five years ago. You know, when, when you had those uh, conversations, like when you look in hindsight, absolutely. Okay. One of the things that I wish we could always look, um, be able to look back and be able to get it right. One of the things that we're trying to do right now, and you're absolutely right. When you, when, when we talk to our members saying, here, we're doing another study. No, what we wanted to do here is when we looked at this is making sure we give confidence uh, to our folks. So we're not going to be just waiting for a report. One of the key aspects of this is that any interim recommendations will be acted upon. And also, um, Adam will be able to uh, work with us to making sure that it's okay. set up properly as can, well. Can, can I get a little clarity here on exactly what you're after? Justice Arbor will be looking at the military justice system as well. So you want to create an independent reporting body outside the military. Does that also include an independent investigative body? Who will investigate the complaints brought forward to this outside reporting body? Because that's important to a lot of people. Absolutely. And that's what exactly will also be looked at. That's why it's going to be very broad uh, in terms of uh, her scope to take a look at. And I don't want to uh, give, say this is what I think it should be. She will do that work. But yes, it will look at that. And we, we're going to go even further. So when we talk about how leaders are selected, for example, the performance evaluation, we want to look at which levels do we need to have even greater scrutiny when, for example, having 360 right. interviews that are independent, uh, unit uh, environmental surveys as well. All those are going to be taken but a do you, at. Do you think it's time to have an outside investigations uh, organization to look into these complaints in the, in the military? Because you know there are critics of the National Investigation Service, uh, which mm-hmm. is made up of military police. There are reports uh, just today of a private Facebook page for military police where comments have been posted mocking the woman at the center of the allegations against General Vance. Do you believe military police and the National Investigation Service can be trusted to take allegations of misconduct seriously? Well, first of all, um, I haven't seen those, but that is absolutely extremely di- di- disappointing and uh, disturbing. Um, but this is exactly what Madam Orbuer will be looking at. And she has the tremendous experience to look at exactly how, what type or what but, type but of you're, But you're the Minister of National you Defense. You, you're, you're, you're involved in these conversations all the time. Uh, mm-hmm. What you're hearing from people about the... Uh, the trust factor for the National Investigation Service and the military police and victims saying that they haven't been taken seriously, in some cases victims being mocked, do you think there needs to be investigation done outside the chain of command and outside the military? And as I stated, uh, this is exactly what Madam Orbur will be looking into. This is, these are the same concerns that I have as well, having somebody with the right expertise to take a look at it, making sure that a right process is in place. And one, we have to get this right. Whatever process we put into place, we can't just say we have an external body, it's going to work. We need to make sure that it's properly tested. Obviously, um, from what we have heard in the past few months, this has not worked. And so this is one thing that I am absolutely certain and committed to, to making okay. sure that what we look at this is we want to be able to stress test it as well, but also put greater support with a also greater emphasis on how do we look at preventing these situations from happening in the first place. All right, Minister Sajjan, uh, good to talk to you again. Thanks for your time tonight. Likewise, thank you.